All right, I want to take a look right now at the Moon and Jupiter conjunction that is coming up. Um, it'll happen on Sunday, I think. And it's the Moon and Jupiter in Aries, but uh, I really like whenever those two are near each other in the sky. So, Moon and Jupiter conjunction, let's just see what the heck we got going on. Oh my God. Two reverse cards already. So, the root card, the reverse six of wands, is basically showing a lack of recognition for things that we feel like we have accomplished, right? If you feel like you've done some fucking good work, the reverse six is saying don't expect any accolades because they're not going to come. And the reversed four of wands, so... The Four of Wands is this shared commitment to a happy, harmonious space. And the Reverse Four is when that commitment gets broken or there's some other shit going on that um, basically means that you can't necessarily put your own stuff aside to honor this shared commitment. Let's just see what's on either side of this Four of Wands. All right, so on one side is the loving devoted mother figure in the Queen of Cups, and on the other side is old emotional crap that is so sticky that you can't really get rid of it. So we have basically, the way this looks to me, uh, so any Queen of Cups figure and anyone who feels like they're really giving um, some true devotion to what's around them. So during this time, you won't feel recognized for it, for one thing, but it looks like you will also have so much of your own emotional fucking trash to deal with that you won't be able to make a proper um, commitment to the space around you. All right, now let's just see if there's any anything that we can do about this or, or what. And the reversed Six of Swords would say not really. Um, the Six of Swords shows trying to get away from mental stress and basically just getting the fuck out of there. But when the Six of Swords is reversed, it shows that it's really sticky so it's like stuck to you. So if you try to leave, you'll bring it with you. So this doesn't look very good here. But um, with this, I mean, keeping in mind that this is temporary energy, but it looks like tomorrow might suck. Now let's see what the uh, tattoo tarot has to say about this same period of time. And we get a five of coins. Now, we do have a root card also of the four of wands. So the four of wands is back here, but it's reversed. So the four of wands, the shared commitment and all of that, the five of coins is basically not having any money. So this would show probably not having enough money to make the commitment to the space that you're in either. Um, let's just see if there's one more. And the reverse death card, again, is showing stuff that we can't necessarily get rid of. We try to get rid of it, but we can't. Um, interesting. Let's see if there is a golden rope card from the Tattoo Tarot to say, what do we do? fucking do about this and the four of cups says what we do about this is to be sad alrighty well let's collect these and I just want to see so this is all pretty disruptive like 
all of this. And it is consistent between both decks, but let's just see if, how do we turn this current of energy into anything constructive? And again, we have a reverse card. Now, hold on. All right. I was holding the deck upside down. So the 10 of wands is about the shit work that you do to accomplish whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. Now, by nature, the 10 of wands is thankless. There is no um, group of people who are cheering you on here. This is like toil that you do and it's completely thankless, but it is for a specific purpose, right? If you want to build a house, this is all the shit work that you have to do to build a house. Now, it did initially come out reversed. So the reverse 10 of wands would say that it's too much of a burden, right? And you will be crushed under the weight. Now, the way that I would see this, if we are to look, you know, to try to find something useful to come out of it, um, if you need help, ask for help. Now, the rest of the reading would say that maybe no one will help you, but uh, I guess, I mean, maybe we should just all go to sleep and fucking not go out into the world. Um, but whew, we just had a bunch of cards fly everywhere. We got one on the floor, so let's see what it has to say. And it is the Hermit. So pretty much, yeah. Um it would be a really good time to not mix that much with other people and maybe to spend a lot of time examining yourself inwardly. Um, because even here, like if there's something that you need help with, judging from the rest of the reading, there might be no one to help you, right? Everyone might be dealing with their own shit and they'll be like, whatever, figure that shit out yourself. Um, so the hermit... Anything that you can do alone would probably be pretty good. And uh, the Hermit is all about remembering that you are filled with gold, right? And the Hermit is about remembering that. So looking inward to see all of the fucking magnificent ideas that you have, all of the amazing things that you are. And the only way that you really get to see that is if you look inward to see it, you know, um, especially in a scenario like this, where the people around you are not exactly fucking cheering you on and telling you how great you are. But even in times when they do, they are just giving you their perspective of what they see, which doesn't have shit to do with what is happening inside of you. So the hermit, look inside and remember that you are filled with gold. So that's what we have for this Moopiter, this uh, moon and Jupiter conjunction in Aries. And hopefully everybody gets through this fine. Um, that's it. Peace.